Hey guys. So, um, right now I'm air drying from, uh, so that I can braid my hair up and do um, a braid out for tomorrow, which is the um, hairstyle of choice um, for stretching. Um, it's really worked out for me very well. I've, I've already done it twice and I'm able to keep it, you know, nice and moisturized in the roots just by applying my regular moisturizing and sealing oils and um, I've you know been just braiding it up every night and I unbraid it in the morning and it's good to go. I'll do a tutorial for you guys um, uh, on this one once I'm going to refresh it so, so I, I'll show you how I um, keep my keep up my braid outs and how long it takes for um, them to not look so great. But um, that's not what this video is about. Um, I wanted to give you guys an update on my castor oil challenge. Since um, I announced that I was going to be doing the challenge in September, I haven't really um, spoken to you guys about how I'm doing and um, if, if I'm noticing anything different. Okay. Um, the castor oil that I've been using is this Home Health castor oil. Now this is a brand new bottle. I had another smaller bottle which I'm finishing up and then once I'm done with that then I'm you know I'm ready to open this one up. But this is the brand that I'm using and it is just a hundred percent castor oil um, cold press and cold process. It says pure natural emollient oil softens and nourishes the skin, ideal for use in castor oil packs, excellent for massage into joints and muscles, hexane free, paraben free. Alright, so um, you know, the, the, some people in the challenge are using the Jamaican castor oil um, and some people are using castor oils like this, different brands. Um, from what I understand there's no really there's not a difference between the Jamaican black castor oil and this oil um, as far as results are concerned I'm sure maybe color wise and scent wise they're different but um, this this thing you know works just as well um, this I get from my natural health food store um, some people say they found it like in CVS or um, some people even found them like in, in their supermarkets and things like that. Um, I believe like supermarket like Whole Foods, you can find it because they have a lot of natural things. But um, I couldn't find castor oil anywhere around, around me except for the natural health food stores. So that's why I get mine. And this big bottle was $9.99. Okay. And um, I started applying it back when the um, challenge started in September 3rd and um, I took some pictures of you know before so that I have something to compare to as far as length um, is concerned in December when the when the challenge is over December 3rd. Um, I chose uh, not to relax my hair until I am done with the challenge. I just feel like I, I don't want to apply any chemicals to my hair that can cause any kind of setback um, to the to the uh, challenge, and and then you know I'm afraid and I won't see as good results or you know the results will be altered um, by applying a chemical. I have not relaxed my hair since July 31st, and we are now in. October 20th, so it's going to be um, August, September, so it's it's going to go in about almost three months that I have not um, relaxed my hair. And um, it's going great, it's going great. I've been applying my castor oil twice a week to my scalp with about five minutes massage, depending on how I feel. Sometimes I might massage longer. Um, and 
in the beginning something weird was happening I don't know if it's happened to anybody else but um, when I was applying the castor oil to my scalp um, my scalp would, will start like not tingling really but like it, it would feel kind of like burning like like a burning type of sensation and then 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 the next day it will feel give me one second you stay right there then the next day it my scalp will feel really really sore okay and and then it, it will feel like somebody was just pulling at my hair all day and that's how that's how it would feel i'm sorry stop it i'll be right there so um sorry um yeah so it, it that's how it would feel my scalp will feel very very tender for about like that whole day after i would apply it that night and then the same thing will happen but i kept on applying it because you know i did some research i tried to look up if um that had happened to anybody or you know if there was anything to be concerned about and um, I didn't see any rashes or anything like that. It was just that my my head was my scalp was very tender. Um, I guess I, I read that the castor oil is a you know very penetrating oil. So I figured that that's what it was happening, and you know that my scalp will eventually become acclimated to it, and it did. I you know after. I want to say maybe the third week of applying it, um, it the pain was went away. And the pain went away, and um, everything was you know back to normal. So um, that's what I've been doing. I've been applying my castor oil. Um, you know, twice a week, and I've been adding it into my deep conditioners um, once a week, or sometimes even like my midweek conditioning, I would add it into there too. So, um, because I have horrible lighting here, I can't really show you. Like, I wanted to show you the the new growth that I have coming in, um, but I have horrible lighting, and I'm sure that you guys are not going to be able to see it. So I'm going to post some pictures at the end of this video and, um, you know, then you guys can see with, you know, better lighting what I'm, you know, what kind of growth I'm achieving and um, what my new growth is looking like. Alright guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick update on my castor oil challenge. Sorry for the interruptions. Everybody needs to use the bathroom when I'm using it. But, um... Uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you an update since I hadn't spoken about it since I announced it in, back in September. So, um, take care guys. Bye-bye.